Once upon a time in a small town called Shitville, there lived a man named Elmer. Now Elmer wasn't your typical guy. He had a peculiar habit that got him into all sorts of trouble. You see, Elmer couldn't keep his goddamn hands off his dick. From the moment he woke up in the morning until the wee hours of the night, Elmer was yanking on his schlong like it owed him money. It didn't matter where he was or who was around, that little pecker of his was getting more action than a porn star on Viagra. His girlfriend tried everything to get him to stop. She'd catch him in the act and yell, Elmer, what the fuck are you doing? But did that deter him? Hell no. He'd just smirk and keep on tugging away like his life depended on it. At work, Elmer's reputation preceded him. His co-workers would whisper behind his back, there goes Elmer, the guy who's always playing pocket pool. But Elmer didn't give a shit. He was on a mission, and nothing was going to stand in the way of his masturbatory adventures. One day, Elmer's antics caught the attention of his boss, Mr. Johnson. He called him into his office and tried to have a heart-to-heart -heart about the dangers of excessive masturbation. But Elmer just laughed in his face and whipped out his willy right then and there. Needless to say, Mr. Johnson was horrified, and Elmer was promptly fired from his job. But did he let that get him down? Nope. He just packed his bags and set off on a journey to explore the world and discover new places to jerk off. And so, dear reader, the legend of Elmer the Chronic Masturbator lived on, a cautionary tale of what happens when one's obsession with self-pleasure knows no bounds. Elmer travelled far and wide, from the bustling streets of New York City to the serene beaches of Hawaii. Everywhere he went, he left a trail of bewildered onlookers and disgruntled locals in his wake, but amidst all the chaos and controversy, Elmer remained steadfast in his pursuit of personal pleasure. He refused to be shamed or silenced by society's narrow-minded views on masturbation. To him, jerking off was a sacred act of self-love, a way to connect with his innermost desires and fantasies. As the years passed, Elmer's legend grew, and he became somewhat of a folk hero among the sexually liberated. People would whisper tales of his exploits with awe and admiration, marvelling at his audacity and unwavering commitment to his craft. But as Elmer's reputation spread, so too did the consequences of his actions. He found himself banned from countless establishments, blacklisted by entire communities, and even pursued by the law on several occasions. Yet through it all, Elmer remained unapologetic. He wore his status as a pariah like a badge of honour, defiantly proclaiming his right to pleasure himself however and whenever he damn well pleased. And so, dear reader, the saga of Elmer the Chronic Masturbator continues to this day, a testament to the power of individual freedom and the enduring human spirit. Love him or hate him, one thing's for sure, Elmer ain't gonna stop stroking his ego anytime soon. As for what the future holds for our intrepid protagonist, only time will tell. But one thing's for certain, wherever there's a penis in need of a little TLC, you can bet your bottom dollar that Elmer won't be too far behind.